Hi everyone, so we're gonna do a review of the Mavic Pro Platinum. Okay, so two main differences between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum is the propellers and the motor make it more quiet and it's more efficient, and the battery has a slightly longer charge flying. And that can make a difference if you are flying far. But other than that, you're getting something very similar. The camera is the same. If you're thinking that you're gonna get an upgrade in picture quality, you're not. You're getting the same exact camera. So let's just talk about the Mavic Pro in, in terms of flying. I think it flies really well. It flies uh, fast and it flies far. I can get great shots. I can control the camera really well. And I've flown the uh, Phantom 3 Professional as a comparison and I've flown the DJI Spark. And I think this thing flies uh, really good. The controller is very good, uh, you know, very easy. It actually connects to your, has a connector to your iPhone. Uh, image quality, yeah, I mean, the images look great. They're in 4K, they're not just in HD compared to the DJI Spark. Uh, so you're gonna get some really great images at 4K. I don't think uh, the images are significantly worse than the Phantom uh, series. I think if you're choosing between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum, um, if noise doesn't make that much of a factor, you're not gonna get that much of a boost. But then again, you know, you're know you maybe paying $100 more right now, um, US, for the Mavic Pro Platinum. So if money's not an issue for you, then you can consider getting the Platinum because it is newer technology, the motor is different, it's not just the propellers. But is it gonna be significant between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum? Not really. If you want the latest and you want it to last longer, I would say the Platinum is still a great deal. And uh, I would definitely get the combo because you need all those, you need, you need to charge the batteries um, with a multi-charger. Uh, I think the bag is well designed. The main stuff fits in the bag. I put two batteries on the side and I stick this, uh, the Mavic Pro and the controller inside the bag. I cannot fit the, the chargers, which is a little bit annoying. So, you know, if you're traveling somewhere, you're gonna need a separate place to put those uh, chargers. Compared to the Spark, okay, here's the main thing. People don't talk about this. Um, this is actually heavier than the DJI Spark. And I, when, I, when I picked it up, I was like, whoa, this is actually not light. Um, then again, of course, it is still lighter than the Phantom 3 Professional and that big, gigantic brick of a backpack. If I were you and um, you know, you're know you really just doing a lot of light flying, you're not really flying too much and you're not doing anything um, uh, crazy, but you just want to get some you want to get some great shots, then you know I recommend the DJI Spark. But I gotta say the Mavic Pro overall is uh, is great. I'm good for travel, a good picture, form factor. It's probably the best value drones out there. So like, share, subscribe, um, and uh, I'll see you again next time.